Hi, this is uh, for Victoria's Secret Project number two. My name is Jen Hai. I am 22 years old. I live in New York, New York. Um, first question, what do you love about Victoria's Secret? I love that Victoria's Secret is one of those stores that makes you feel both intrinsically and extrinsically feminine. You know, like it's, it's powerful to feel every aspect of yourself when you not only walk into a Victoria's Secret, but when you wear Victoria's Secret lingerie or their fragrances and what have you. What would you change? You know, I think Victoria's Secret hasn't grown with the times. You know, I think we're experiencing a much more powerful female, one that is more um, empowered um, and in tune with who they are uh, as a person, you know, self-development, self-love, um, just knowing our power. And I feel like Victoria's Secret is still all about like that exterior, you know, if I, if I, you know, wear a size two pants, um, if I have big boobs, if I have chiseled abs, that means I'm good enough and, and I'm sexy. And I feel like the times have changed. So I feel like they need to evolve with the times. How do you define sexy? Um, you know, sexy to me is really soulful. It's intrinsic. Um, you know, it's how my body and my mind come together. Um, it really comes from the inside out. It's about kindness. It's about acceptance. It's about love. It's feeling empowered to be a better version of yourself. You know, I consider myself very sexy. Um, how do you define sensual? I feel like sensual is the soul of sexy, you know? I feel like, you know, it's, it, it, it is, it's, it's more about the being than the feeling. I think, I think sexy is about feeling and I think sensual is about being, you know, it's, it's so much more at the core of who we are as women to feel sensual um, or to be sensual. Do you feel VS is sexy or sensual? I feel VS uh, has always been sexy. You know, that's been their DNA. Um, but I feel like as they evolve to meet the woman of today, um, they need to think about what it means to be sensual. Because again, sensual is our core being as women. And I think they need to get so much deeper than what's on the outside and really kind of focus on those innate traits that women have on the inside. Are the VS models still relevant to you today? Are they aspirational? No. And this is where I feel like VS needs to evolve. You know, putting the runway show on every year, I feel like that is more for guys than it is for girls because I know me and my group of friends a we don't watch it but we do tend to think poorly about it because it doesn't make us as women as your customers feel good you know and if girls are aspiring to that like my younger cousin you know rips pictures of pretty models out of the magazine and puts it up on a wall you know you're 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 presenting the wrong model to them because that's unrealistic what 10% of women actually look like that you know the average size in America is a size 12 you know those are real women you know and if Victoria's Secret wants to be more realistic and really you know target the real woman then those models are just not it so if anything they disempower women um, at least women my age, and I'm in my early 20s. So let's talk fragrance. How do you feel about the fantasy design right now? What do you think fantasies is offering you? Um, I like the fantasy design. I always have. I feel like it's the perfect combination of fragrance and my personality. Um, you know, it's not overpowering, but it gives that hint to people 
um, and to myself that I'm present. Um, I love the colors. I think they're so fun. Um, you know, I think they're good, uh, good value. You know, I'm able to afford them, um, which is great. I love the way they look on my dresser because, uh, you know, it really does dress up my room as accents of color. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think that's ultimately what it's offering me. Um, what do you, why do you buy, buy why, why do you buy fantasies and are you looking for value, just good fragrance or convenience? Um, why do I buy it? You know, it hasn't disappointed me yet, so that's why I buy it. Um, I'm, you know, as a, as a 22 year old, I'm always looking for value. Um, so yes, I think the price points are great. Um, I think the fragrances are great, but I think that again, there needs to be more like soulful fragrances, fragrances that are put together with, with intent, fragrances that speak to us as powerful women internally, you know, as opposed to just being fruity, floral, fun, playful, you know, we're so much more than that. Um, so, you know, I think the fragrances, you could probably get rid of some of the fragrances and add those fragrances that speak to, you know, the strong, powerful side of the new woman. Would you prefer if there was an efficacy claim on the bottle? Um, explain why or why not. I mean, you know, it's all, you know, that's marketing, right? I mean, if you put something on a bottle, people are going to believe that it's going to last longer or you know, make my skin softer or what have you. Um, I don't uh, particularly need that because I know that it works for me. But if new customers come, you know, into the fold, then I do think that would benefit them, that they would say, oh, this lasts 12 hours as opposed to the one I'm using now only lasts three. So um, I think that could definitely help bring in new customers. Are there too many products, just the right amount, not enough? Explain your answer. You know, I'm all about like, you know, um, quality is quantity, you know? Um, so I look at the line and I think there's a lot to offer in the line and that could sometimes be confusing. You know, I don't smell and I haven't smelled every fragrance in the line. Um, you know, if I don't like vanilla, I'm probably not going to go towards vanilla. If I don't like fruity things, I'm probably not going to go towards, you know, the fruity ones. Um, so I do think you could cut down and again, make it more about quality, you know, make it more about the woman of today. You know, we're more about quality than we are about quantity. So, you know, simplifying it, making it true to us, you know, I don't think having something you know, that, that has to call out the actual fruit or floral on the, on the package is something I need. I would like a more powerful, you know, message, um, you know, that, that kind of speaks to me as opposed to, you know, fruity apple blossom. Um, so, you know, I think you could simplify it. Um, and maybe I would try more if there was more variation in the line. Um, what about the scent range? Are you bored with the floral fluty melange that launches every year? Um, as I mentioned before, you know, I think you could simplify the scent range. I think you could have more options. I think, you know, with fruity florals, everything ends up smelling the same. So I would like some different options, you know, maybe something woody, maybe something a little bit more musky, maybe something more earthy, maybe something, you know, again, earthy and musky and, and woody speak to more soulful, like groundedness. So I think that could be interesting. I also think fresh out of the shower smell is really good at times. So fresh and clean um, with maybe a pop of, of an interesting note. Um, so, so yeah, I think that you know, that you could definitely liven up the line by getting rid of some of those traditional, you know, fragrances that we just expect and having more, again, like fragrances that, that, you know, 
touch us or, or our signature because they align to our personality. Are you looking for something different? Oh, okay, I just answered that, fresher, darker, sweeter, so I answered that. Um, if you were in charge of changing the body fantasies line, what would you do? So again, I think as Victoria's Secret evolves, I think their packaging and design is gonna to need to evolve too. So as much as I love the colors of the line, maybe the shape of the packaging changes. You know, maybe you get rid of the gold cap. Um, maybe it's a little bit more sophisticated and, and you know, less, you know, glammy. Uh, maybe there's a curve in the bottle to fit into a woman's hand. Um, maybe the bottles are tinier so we could carry them. You know, we're hardly ever home so and everything is mobile. So maybe there's a way to make, I don't know, travel sizes um, for people to buy. I also think having a section, you know, like you do where you have fragrances. I think, you know, we don't shop like that. At least the people in my generation don't shop like that. We don't go to specific sections. We like things woven into whatever it is we're shop we're buying. So for instance, if the fantasies was near the panties or woven into the panties, maybe having some bottles on the panties counter or near the bras, we're more apt to be like, huh, that's interesting. Maybe if I buy this pink bra, I'll buy this, you know, pink body fantasies to go with it. I'm sorry, fantasies to go with it. But um you know, I just think that that's important um, to not make it so specifically a center in the store because, again, we don't shop like that. Um, so that's what I would do to the line. The other thing you could do, too, is add in different emollients into the sprays. So, you know, in the winter when it, you know, when our skin dries out, you know, there's a there could be a moisturing, a moisturing emollient or in the summer, maybe a cooling emollient, um, you know, different things like that to, to make the line more interesting, but keeping the, you know, obviously the fragrance as the, at the forefront. Thank you.